Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making Instant Pot Disneyland Enchilada Soup. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and today I'm cooking in my Instant Pot. Now if you don't have an Instant Pot, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do it in the slow cooker also. But before I get going on my Instant Pot recipe, I'm gonna tell you about our Southern California giveaway. One of our lucky winners will win a three night, two day Southern California giveaway and the best part is you get to pick whatever theme park you wanna go to. A special thanks to Get Away Today for providing this prize for us. Now all you have to do to enter is go in the description and click the link and it's really that easy. If you're already subscribed to Six Sisters, you're already part way there. Now in case you missed it on Saturday, I am sharing some fun Disney lunch ideas. So be sure to click that little dot and you'll be able to see all the fun ideas that I shared. All right guys, let's go make this Instant Pot Disneyland enchilada soup. So you're gonna start by putting two or three chicken breasts in the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now these are chicken tenders. You can use tenders or you can use chicken breasts. Now if you are making this in the slow cooker, you're gonna do the same exact thing that I do in my Instant Pot, except when it's cooking, you're gonna cook for six to eight hours on low. Next, you're gonna add two cloves of garlic. I also like to use the minced garlic, so it's about one teaspoon. Next, you're gonna add one teaspoon of chili powder. Oop, got a little too much there. Next, you're gonna add one teaspoon of Worcestershire or Worcestershire or whatever you call it, one teaspoon of that sauce. <laughs> then add one teaspoon of Tabasco sauce in it. Now that seems like a lot, but it actually isn't too spicy. If your kids are funny about spice, maybe do a half teaspoon. Then on top of that, I'm gonna add one small chopped onion. Next, add one chopped red pepper. Now they didn't have red peppers at my store, so I used an orange one. Then one can of drained black beans. Then you're gonna add one can of corn. You're not gonna drain the corn, dump everything in. Next, add two cups of your favorite enchilada sauce. Then you're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. Now I love to get these big containers because I know it's already four cups and I can just dump the whole thing in without measuring. Next you're gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and then you're ready to cook. If you're doing the Instant Pot, make sure you turn the handle and make sure that the little thing is on sealing, not venting. If you're cooking with the slow cooker, put the lid on and set it for six to eight hours. With the Instant Pot, you're gonna go manual for 20 minutes. Now when it's done cooking, I did a quick release, so that means I pushed it over to venting and let all the steam out. And I'm gonna take the lid off. Oh, it smells so good. Now I'm just gonna find my chicken and shred it. Now with the Instant Pot, it is going to be really hard to hold on to and it will shred very, very easily. Now when you're done shredding your chicken, you're gonna add one half cup of cream and then about a half a cup of sour cream. I might add a little more because I love when it's nice and creamy. Then when you're done with that, stir it in a little bit so the sour cream can melt and the cream will mix in pretty good. Next, you're gonna add two cups of cheddar cheese. Mix it really well until everything is melted and well combined. Now if you're doing this in the slow cooker, you're gonna do the same exact thing you're just gonna make sure it's still on low while your sour cream and cheese are melting. When it's all done, I like to serve it with cheese so the cheese is melting, some little tortilla strips, and cilantro on top. Well, thanks guys so much for stopping by. Be sure to check out our other Mondays for our Instant Pot recipes. And if you want to win a vacation to Southern California, don't forget to enter our giveaway. The link is down below in the description. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a good day.